Hi guys, it's Scott here and in today's video we're going to be giving you a short introduction to the decision making process and talking you through how you go about eliminating some of the options that you might have at a very preliminary stage to make your job later on a little bit easier. So back to our engineering problems overview. We've done some work on identifying our real objectives. We use the office process to do that. We've also completed step two, which is locate or creating viable options. And we taught you a morphology method to generate some of those options. And in today's video, we're gonna introduce you to how you go about selecting the best concepts. So we're talking decision making. In future videos, we're gonna look at how you develop a detailed solution and also go about communicating uh, this solution to your chosen audience. So this series of videos, decision making. So using this example of holding washing on a horizontal line, the one that we've been working with, I want to explain to you how you go about preliminary eliminating some of the options that you have in your solution space. If you do a good job of your creative solution generation, you may come up with tens or 20 or even 100 different possible concepts to select from. And it would be an awful lot of work if you were to take all of those options into your formal decision making process. So what we want to do is we want to cull them down to only a few viable concepts before we do further work on it. And so this is the process that we're going to talk through now. So we've got our example of holding washing on a horizontal line. And over on the right hand side here, we have the four examples that um, we developed creative solutions to. So we've got a conventional style peg here, and we've got the magnetic lines which are holding the washing here. We've got the sprag and the C-shaped clip option here, and we've also got the option of adding loops to all of our clothes and threading the clothesline through these loops. So I'm going to show you how you might be able to eliminate some of these options to make your job a little bit easier. So the first step in that process is to begin by eliminating any of the options that could not be made to satisfy all of the specifications. So if you have a look at our table of requirements and criteria and specifications here, in the specifications column for each of these requirements, we've given it a value. So uh, for example, the strong grip is pull off force in Newtons, and we've specified that for all of our viable options to be considered as part of the, as part of the decision making process, we want these options to be greater than 20 Newtons here. Um, ease of use, less than 5 Newtons, um, peak user force, long life, we want at least 200 cycles, 200 uses out of these devices. Aesthetics, we're not going to put a specification on it here. Uh, safety, uh, we want corner radii to be greater than 0.2 millimeters so that we don't cut ourselves, cut our fingers when we're using it. Uh, won't damage our clothing over seven days, we want there to be no damage. And cheap, we specified a cost of less than two cents um, per, per item. So the first thing we're going to do is look at any of our options that will not satisfy those specifications. So if we take a close look at the magnetic line uh, option, if we do some calculations and do some testing, maybe we might find that our magnetic lines, or if we do some research, uh, might not be able to produce 20 newtons of grip. And so if they're below that, they're going to fail on this very important specification. And so we can eliminate them um, from our possible solutions. Looking at another option here, we might find that uh, we predict that these loops, if we were to add them to all of our clothes, then that might actually result in an increased cost, which is maybe greater than 10 cents. And so it's not going to meet our specification here for less than 2 cents per item. And so we think that's going to be too expensive, so we'll also eliminate that one. So now we've already um, halved the possible solutions that we want to be considering. We've got two left. And the next step in our process is to look at these solutions very carefully and think about if we're actually happy with all of the options that are left. And if we're not happy with any of them, we should consider what criteria we may have overlooked initially. So I'm going to take a look at uh, this option with the, the C-shaped clip, the tapering clip and the sprag, the little bit of all thread. And I'm looking and I'm thinking there's, there's something I'm not happy about that. I'm, I don't really like it. And if I think about it for a while, I realize that I don't like it because it's actually two pieces and you would need to kind of use two hands and half hold the washing and then hold the clip over and try and get this little piece of all thread in there and then tension the sock by pulling it down and so it's very fiddly because of these two extra pieces and they could potentially get lost 
um, you could drop one on the ground. What I really want from our solution is for it to be one piece. And so maybe I should have added earlier on ease of use or ergonomics and specified a criteria of number of pieces for these devices. And I would have set a specification of one um, for this and that would have eliminated this option. So if I were to do that, add that to my table, that would eliminate the third option here, which would leave me only with one option left. And that's pretty good. We've only got one option left, so that's made our decision-making process trivial. We don't have to go into any further detail deciding which is the best one. Um, and usually, if this is the case, then you haven't done a very good job of coming up with concepts. So generally we find that we're able to eliminate a couple of our initial ideas based on the specifications, but we're hoping that we've got a few really good viable options left that we can do some more detailed analysis and decision making on, and that's something that we're going to cover in the next couple of videos. That's the end. Thanks for watching.